Hello and welcome to Spirit Forest. I am out here for five days and I am taking you along on my five days. I think this is number three, day number three. I don't know if you check out the videos before, that's what I was doing before today. So yesterday I went hiking and we hiked uh, nine miles and I did it with my dog. My dog's getting a little older, a little rocky, he's getting a little older so he's gonna have to have some aspirin. He's been kind of limping a little bit today and we're planning on hiking again today. Um, I'm gonna do a very easy hike today and then another hike um, the next day. So I'm gonna give him some aspirin. He is terrible at taking his medicine, he truly is. So I gotta go chop it up for him and then hide it in his food and maybe, maybe he'll, he'll uh, eat it. A lot of times he'll eat all his food and leave the pill in the bowl and then I have to figure out a way to try to get it in him. So let's hope that doesn't happen this morning. Wish him luck that he actually takes this. It smells like vitamins. We'll see. Okay, he ate most of it. He was a good boy. He was a good boy. He usually eats twice as fast though. He was like, that didn't taste so good. <laughs> but you can see that he, he left just a little bit of crumbs of medicine in there. What about this? You gotta get this right there. I need to make it more powder-like, I think. But he did good. He got most of the medicine in him. I'm a little nervous about Rocky. You know, I'm hoping that he'll last forever. <laughs> you know, but he can't he can't hike that far. I mean, 9 miles is a lot of miles. That's a lot of miles. He wasn't carrying anything. You know, it was a lot of miles. <clears throat> he was just walking around. He seemed he seemed a lot better than early this morning when he first woke up. It was like an old man getting up, you know. And uh so I don't know I don't know we're gonna go on an easy hike today it'd probably be like maybe three or four mile hike or something like that something really easy still an incline because I gotta work on that stuff myself um, I gotta work on an incline but I will eventually retire Rocky and the girl's daddy has offered to have him retire at, at his house so while I'm out on my adventures Rocky would be hanging out with him and and so that means I'll be backpacking alone again which I don't I kind of like having a, as much as a, a dog is more work I kind of like having having Rocky with me you know it's kind of nice to have him there but I'm not ready for another dog either I don't want to buy another dog I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy it's warm enough. No, it's not warm enough in the shade. That's why I'm sitting in the sun. But it's uh, it's warm enough in the sun just to sit and wear shorts and like feels very comfortable. I would say it's probably about 52 degrees right now. Something like that. I'm really not that hungry, which seems kind of odd because I really didn't have a big dinner or anything. I'm just haven't been hungry since I've been out here. I just my mind's more on being in nature rather than eating food, which is good because you guys saw my earlier videos. I said I gained weight. I end up gaining like 
I think it was six pounds, but it turned out to be like eight pounds I gained this winter because I haven't been able to hike and do a lot of the stuff I normally do. And, uh, and I've been kind of lazy. I have to admit that too. You know, it's just been really cold out and wet and snowing all the time that I usually run races in the, in the springtime. And that's what gets me in, keeps me in shape in the wintertime is I'll run a couple, um, races but I didn't do any this year, so I've been kind of lazy. So, um, yeah, my body was telling me that I have to stay active or else I'll get, I'll get overweight. <laughs> yeah. So, what I'm going to do, i got a couple videos to create for you. It won't be in this video. I'm going to do the rest of the tents. I'm going to put up the rest of the tents for you so you can see all of my tents. In fact, I'm kind of a little burnt out of putting up tents, to be honest with you. I don't know how many I have up right now, like seven, maybe, maybe seven tents. I'm kind of burnt out of putting up tents, but I want to make sure all the parts are really in there and might as well video it too. And these are probably going to be short videos. I don't know, because I'll probably just put it on fast forward and there'll be like six minute videos or something. But so I want to finish putting up the tent and then we're going to go for a hike. I'm looking at Rocky. We're going to go for a hike. And then we're going to go to a, a hike where there's no trail. So, and I don't know if I have a map to the area. I don't think I have a map. I think, I, I think I'm just going to be using compass um, to get me to where I'm going and then to get me back. And again, only three miles. But you can get lost in three miles. So, um... And then I think it's time for me to take a shower. <laughs> I gotta clean me. Yeah, I pay to, to use a shower. Um, so I'm gonna take a shower later today. No, I'm not gonna film that, but you'll film, you'll see me all nice and clean, hopefully, hopefully later today, if the showers are, are working. Sometimes they're not working. These little cuties, they're pretty good. They're kind of like candy. Then I'm, I'm meeting somebody at my property. That's a, another reason why I'm going to take a shower is because I'm sure he doesn't want me to be all stinky and everything the first time meeting me. And it's not what you think it is. Um, it's just, uh, I'll get into some other time. But I'm meeting somebody here in the property. And uh, I think he's going to be here for a few hours. And then um, then it's nighttime. And um, I think that I like to do some um, in the tent night video today. So I'm going to save some of my time. Again, I don't know how long these videos are going to be when I'm recording them. So if this is a long video, you obviously already know. And if you don't like the long videos, that's fine. You know what you got? You are you are in charge of your own destiny. You know, if you want like a six minute video, watch six minutes, and then hit pause and go away, and then come back, watch another six minutes, and <laughs> come back. You know, you you choose what you want to watch, or if you want to fast forward through certain parts, go ahead. Maybe you're fast forwarding through this part. <laughs> Me in the morning eating my breakfast. You choose what you want to do. I'm just going to post these videos and it tells a story. It tells a story of my day and I take you along and I kind of like it. I kind of like just bringing the camera with me and, and chatting with you. I feel like I'm not alone. It's kind of nice. The benefit of YouTube. And for those of you that can't do a lot of the stuff that I'm doing, because a lot of my subscribers are people who can't hike and and backpack and so forth um, this is a way for you to kind of live through me a little bit because I take you along I'm going to eat the rest of my breakfast and then I'm going to start shooting some other videos for you guys oh I'm going to shoot a video on all my knives so you're going to get a video on all my knives I brought them all out and my custom knife that I had done too. Um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna have so much video, it's gonna last till July. <laughs> but that's okay, because I gotta teach classes. And when I'm teaching classes, I don't, I don't film during that because, well, it's kind of rude to the ladies and I need to give them 100% um, them of my time. So I don't film. So um, that's about four weeks this summer where I won't be filming. And so these, these videos that I'm doing right now kind of plug in that time. Not that you really need to know this, but I'm telling you this anyways. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to go pop up some more tent. I got four of them left, I think. And then shoot my knives and then go for a hike. So it turns out there is a trail here. So I, I, brought, my, I brought my compass, but I think I can just follow this trail and I think I'll be just fine. But I, I took a bearing. I really think that I'll be fine. But uh, anyways, no, I've never been on this trail again. Again, I'm trying to all these new trails um, and just trying to check them out because I've never been here. So I think, I don't know how long it is. Um, I have, they have this like piece of paper at the trailhead. It says, take the trail map. I started to read it yet, but I don't know yet. So I'm going to read that a little bit and see how long it is. It did say something about like a, 800 or a thousand foot climb which is good i think that's good i'm happy with that uh i'm gonna climb a little bit man now it's hot again oh yeah I, I was like it was freezing when i parked my car and then now the sun's out again so now it's really hot welcome to colorado <laughs> okay let's see what this trail is about I got hot. <laughs> I got a feeling this is gonna be one of those trails where I'm putting on my jacket and then taking off my jacket. <laughs> so far it's a really nice trail. However, it's very dry and I totally forgot my chapstick. I'm addicted to chapstick in case you didn't know. And it's a, uh, it's, it's like straight up too. What's up with all these trails going straight up the mountain? Um, yeah, really dry. Does it look pretty behind me? You see it? You see all the mountains? I don't know how GoPro does. I don't know, what's Rocky doing? Oh, eating deer poop. Oh, that's disgusting rocks. Uh, nasty. Okay, onward and upward.
I like this trail. It, uh, you know, very rarely do I say I don't like a trail, but um, I like this trail, but I want to be back when the aspens are out, like the leaves are out, or maybe in the fall when the leaves are changing color. There's a ton of aspen, but they haven't even budded yet. And it's pretty late in the season, but they haven't budded yet even in uh, at Spirit Forest either. So it's just been a kind of a wild winter and the trees are, the trees are showing it too. So I want to come back here when the, the leaves of the aspen are out and show you guys. It is really pretty. I really like it. Look at me, I'm in all my Spirit Forest wear. I didn't do it on purpose, I swear. I forgot a hat at, at the tent, and I had this hat. I, this hat's always in my car, so I just grabbed this hat. I got a bad look from those people that were behind me. I honestly thought I was going to be the only one on this mountain. Because I had my dog off the leash. My dog is so controllable. Well, I have him on leash now. He doesn't like that. I don't like that. Oh, you got there. What? Yeah, I don't think you're going to take that. Yeah. Let's leave that alone. No, I don't think you're going to bring that. That's gross. Yuckies. Yuckies. It's kind of yucky. It's kind of yucky. Yeah, can you drop that? Not on me? Yeah. Let's go. Leave it. Let's go. We are working our way down the mountain now. It got really windy up there. I think I'm just gonna wait to eat until later. I haven't eaten yet today. And it's like three o'clock. So now I'm hungry. I hear my stomach growling and I'm hungry now. So if I get a chance on the way down to find a, uh, a little spot that's not windy or cold, <laughs> then I'm gonna take a little snack. And then I'm gonna go back to Spirit Forest, or take a shower, find a shower, go back to Spirit Forest and hang out for a bit there before my visitor comes. <sighs> and so I hope to see you later today. That's kind of my goal. I'm gonna get all this other stuff done and then I'll see you later. I'm currently not on a trail. I know the direction I need to go. I decided to go my own route because of that couple and their bad look to me because of my dog. So I was like, I'll just go my own route. Now I'm using my compass and I guess a warning to do not do this at home <laughs> unless you know how to read a compass and a map and I do. So never go off trail unless you know what you're doing. And I know what I'm doing, so. Do you see this? See that? 
That is an old ski resort. Or this used to be an old ski resort. And that was the, the tower for the chairlift. That's pretty cool. I think it'd be kind of cool to bring my skis up here. This is a pretty good climb though. You know, bring your skis up here and ski down here like they did way a long time ago. However, there's a lot of, a lot of growth here. Not sure if there'd be a direct path to ski down, but I think it'd be kind of fun. Oh, Rocky, look at, he found some more snow. So they shut the ski slope down, or the ski resort, which really was only, I think, one lift only, and it was only for like the locals in the area. And they shut it down because they just didn't get enough snow. This area really doesn't have a lot of snow. Okay, I will see you later tonight when I am uh, getting ready for bed. Because I got a lot of stuff I got to do beforehand and I'm not going to bring you along on that. And uh, I'll see you later. And thanks for joining this hike with me. I do want to come back so you maybe later in the year you're going to see this hike again. Um, with the aspen trees all grown out or maybe again when the aspen starts changing. It's a lot of aspen here in this area. And I think it would look really pretty in the fall. So for a nice fall hike. Hey Rocky, Rex. All right, no B-roll for you this time. I, uh, I'm hungry. I gotta eat now. There you go. I'm gonna have the trusty ramen noodles. I haven't eaten all day. Well, okay, I had some snack. I had the orange this morning. Um, I had a little bit of snack, but really haven't had like anything to eat. I'm starving. It's um, uh, 7.15 right now. So after I left hiking, I went and I took a shower, felt good. However, they were out of hot water. So it was like the coldest shower I've ever taken and the fastest shower I have ever taken. And, um, and then came back here and within a couple minutes my visitor came and he stayed for like two hours. And all I was thinking like part of the time was, I'm hungry. <laughs> Can I make something while you're talking? Um, I didn't, obviously. But I'm starving right now. I've had a really good day. I've made a really big decision on something and I'm gonna celebrate um, with, you guys be surprised. It's a cookie! I know, you're shocked. You're shocked. Oh, it's windy, sorry if it's windy in the camera. I saved this cookie. Actually, I saved it for my first night at the tent, but then I forgot to bring the cookie. Um, but uh, these were made for me from Canada. Ah, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that? It's a sugar cookie. Um, I had it in my freezer, so hopefully it's still good. Like, it smells so good. I'm just gonna eat it. Mm -hmm. Food! I'm totally having my dessert before dinner. It's good. I gotta get some water. I'll be right back. Okay, lacking on my B-roll in this one. In case you don't know what B-roll is, it's, it's when I'm not talking. <laughs> oh, thirsty and hungry. I put up all my tents. I don't wanna give it away, but I'm getting rid of some tents. And so you'll see that in that series of videos. You'll see which tents I'm getting rid of. 
and um, and it looks like it's Tent City on my property. <laughs> it looks it looks crazy. My visitor that came over, he's like, "What's going on here?" Because <laughs> I have like eleven tents up on my property. <laughs> Like yeah. He's like, how many people are here? It's just me. Yeah. Party of one. And a cookie. Mmm. This cookie is so needed. Feeling really happy though and cold. We had a storm come through. It started raining pretty hard. It was raining pretty hard. Um, got a fire going, so my tent should be nice and warm. Assuming my fire's still going. Should probably check on that. Dinner's being made. Sun is set. So uh, I'm gonna eat dinner. My nice ramen noodles, and then I'm gonna see you guys in the tent. Hello, you are now inside my tent. Isn't it beautiful? I have, I have way too many lights in my tent, but to film I have to have a lot of light. And um, I have this light. This is my new light. This is my present to myself for this year. This is my spirit force present to myself. And it looks like fire. Isn't that cool? Um, I know I'm going to be in a fire ban soon, so I wanted to, I wanted to buy this so that way I can sit outside on the porch and when it gets warmer, it's still really cold outside and, uh, I can have it. I have another one too. Let's see. Maybe it's, no, nope, it's, it's not in the frame. <laughs> There's another one back here a little bit. Let me turn it a little. There you go. There's the other one. Um, I just brought them in the tent. They're going to be outside, but I brought them in the tent just so I could show you because I think it's really, it's really, really cool. I am feeling very thankful tonight. I'm very thankful for all of you that, that watch my channel and those that have subscribed to my channel too. I do these videos for you and I do them for me and my girls and and you know maybe it's something that they can watch later but I just want to thank you because I'm um I, I truly do appreciate it. I really do. And I think I've mentioned that every once in a while I'll get comments um on my phone and just recently I turned on my phone off airplane mode and I I had coverage, which never happens. I got messages from my kids. Um, I was just listening to a bunch of music, but I also get messages from you. And I and it doesn't show me every message. It just shows some of them. And so what I think it would be kind of cool is I'm gonna read some of the messages that have come through, and. Um, so you could see the kind of messages I get. Now again, I probably get out of 60 comments, I'll get two messages. So I don't get a lot of them, but every once in a while they show up on my phone. Uh, you can't really see the phone. Um, this, I'm just gonna read some of them. This one's from Ben and he says, living up to your Scandinavian heritage, essentially, 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 means promoting Scandinavian Nordic genes. Blonde hair, blue eyes, looking dot, dot, dot. Now I can never read any past the dot, dot, dot because it, if I go to YouTube, or YouTube, it says you don't have coverage, <laughs> which is ironic. I'm like, you just sent me a message. Here's another one from Letty's Life, which is one of my favorite channels that I watch. She says, absolutely loving the direction of your channel. Um, lo loving the direction your channel is going. I truly believe that it is very perceptive to see life lessons in, and I think it's nature, dot, dot, dot. Um, here's another one. 
get busy living or dying. Okay, this is like flashing in my eyes as I'm trying to read at the same time. Get busy living or dying. And this person says, love your videos. Thanks for sharing with us, Spirit Forest. That's cool. Um, this one, I can't pronounce this channel. N-A-J, Naj, I don't know how to pronounce that. R-U-Q-W-L. Is that even a word? <laughs> Anyways, that's their channel name says, thank you for the tour of Spirit Forest. I really enjoyed it. Love seeing Rocky on your video. It makes me miss my Roddy. Aww. And I get these. And I, these are the ones that I got. Let's see. What is this? This I received in the last two days. Okay, here's the last one from Joseph Beck. Thank you for this video. I just found you because of Born. I am happy to see someone else as interested in the Viking Age in dot dot dot. <laughs> so if you need me to know something right away, don't write a long comment. Write a little short one and then write a long one later. <laughs> uh, it is just so cool and I'm so very thankful. I'm, I'm out of focus again, aren't I? I'm very thankful for all the comments that I get and um, it makes me smile especially when I randomly get a message on my phone out here at Spirit Force and I can't reply to any messages and I really can't read them any more than what I just read to you but it's it, it inspires me to keep going you know and I started thinking about risk and the risk and if you haven't seen that video I talk about why I did this and it was a huge risk for me and I, if I never made, did that risk and spent the money and bought this land and bought this tent and decided to put it on YouTube, it would be a whole different life. Like my life would be completely different. I'd still be camping and I'd still be, you know, doing all my mountain stuff, but I probably wouldn't be doing any classes, which was always been my dream to teach wilderness classes. You know, and uh, I wouldn't be doing all of this. I wouldn't have met so many wonderful people. I, Stacy is like, she's like become like a best friend of mine. You know, I almost talk to her on a daily basis. You know, and I have other people too that I call every once in a while. I got subscribers that I call probably like once a week just to check in on them, you know, and see how they're doing. Um, Gary, I'm talking about you and uh, and Jim Cook too. You know, it just, I have some really good people, really good people and that I've met and I hope to meet more people too. And, uh, you know, I, I kind of feel a little spoiled because I think I have like the best subscribers out there on YouTube. <laughs> I really do. I think it's so awesome. You know, and as I was sitting here and I was looking at my shelves and everything that I have behind here and I have little knickknacks on there and a lot of them are from subscribers. They really are. Like I have a little Viking necklace from a subscriber. Um, I got a bear. I got uh, these sayings right here from subscribers. Um, this over here is a Jamaica flower vase that I haven't put a flowers in yet. Well, there's no flowers growing here in Colorado yet. No wildflowers yet. Um, but, uh, you know, I got that and uh, from a trip I did with a subscriber, you know, and it just, it has become like a, one of my best friends. And, and then I have stuff for my daughters. And then I have a, I have a wooden heart made out of the land, from the land, uh, the wood on my land here. And it's just, it's just really special, you know, and I just, I'm feeling very thankful today and I'm very happy and I just I guess I'm gonna end this video just saying thank you and if you're thinking of doing something that's a, maybe a high risk I say do it <laughs> just do it life's too short to be sitting around you know just do it and if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out you know it's just it's just too short that's all I gotta say about that you know, if there's something that you want, if there's if someone that you want, you know, don't just wait around anymore. Go grab that person. <laughs> you know, tell them how you feel. Or, you know, if you're looking to buy that car, go buy that car. I don't know what it is that, that might be the thing for you, but I'm just, you, life's too short. It, it truly is. It's too short. And I think I'm going to talk about this on another video, but 
I'm approaching the same age um, that my dad died. So I'm going to outlive my dad here soon. And it's made some, by doing this, it's, it's made some big changes in me too. Of, I might be willing to do a little bit more risk now in my life to, to get what I want because I do feel that that life is really short. So, and, and I'll probably talk about that in some other video. I don't want to get into that right now. Um, but I just want to say if there's something that you're waiting on, just, just go do it. Go do it. Don't sit around anymore. And then if you do it, let me know. <laughs> I'm curious if you'd actually do it or not. And you got to get yourself one of these really cool blankets. Because <laughs> this is like, this is like a, this is a life, life decision right here. Is <laughs> I just love these things. And then you put your feet through it. Like, seriously, after hiking and this is long day, I curl up into bed and I just grab this little blanket. <laughs> I did tell you I get attached to blankets, right? Yeah, I'm already attached to this blanket. And I know next weekend my kids are gonna be here and I won't have this blanket because they're also attached to it. So, okay, I'm gonna go now. I want to thank you for joining me today. Um, it was a fun day. I had a lot of stuff going on. N some stuff, not on camera, but good stuff uh, that I'll talk about at some point. And, uh, I'll see you on the next video, which will probably just be tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.